You're watching Fortified Friday. My name is Ilka Siren, and we are going back to Douro and tackling one of the most uh, legendary port houses in Douro Valley, near port. And we're testing their basic ruby. Uh, as a disclaimer, I have to say in the beginning that I actually have worked with these guys. Uh, I did my first harvest in uh, at Neoport, uh, working with the table wines, mostly with the table wines, and uh, that's that just as a as a disclaimer. But you know, it's a it's a house that is easy to like because the wine wines are incredible usually, and it's now more known maybe for from the table wines, you know, the basic red wines and white wines, and Deep Neoport obviously has done. A great job of uh, not just promoting Douro Valley but also promoting uh, Portugal. But let's get into the wine. Like I said, it's their basic ruby. And uh, ruby is basically uh, a style of if you categorize the port wines, you have the tonies, uh, which are cask aged, barrel aged, and then you have the ruby styles, which are bottle aged. And rubies are usually, you know, every house normally has a ruby which is kind of like a, this basic concentrated fruity easy going uh, wine that is uh, usually a quite good price quality uh, range but let's uh, smell the wine it's, it's very kind of nice plum aromas like this uh, plum uh, some berry berries I mean in Finland we have kind of a lot of berries I mean this kind of like blueberry kind of thing going on as well and it's, it's, it's kind of this pencil aroma. I don't know if, if, I mean, you probably don't smell a lot of pencils like I do, but I mean, this kind of has like this pencil sort of uh, aroma in the nose and I kind of like it. Let's taste it. Mm. What I like about this wine is, is, is the, the body of the wine. It's not too heavy because sometimes the ruby ones are too sweet and then with the sweetness comes the body and they're too kind of flappy and chunky and, and that kind of stuff and this is kind of this is lean this is lean this is kind of like a the kind of ruby that works out a lot in the gym and it gets you know it's fit it's fit and it's it's kind of easy to drink because of that let's taste it one more time and aroma wise it's very appealing. It's sort of like this, you feel that you want to drink more. And you have the tanning grip, which is kind of like the smooth velvety tannins. They're not too overpowering. This kind of like this, a nice grip that you actually feel that you're drinking something and you have this nice kind of uh, structure in the wine. And you could easily have it with, with food because of that, because it is uh, it's lean, fit, tannins, a bit of acidity. So, I mean, it's a good, uh, port wine for food. It's one of those, let's bring back the slow clap. <laughs> you remember, remember the slow clap in the first episode of 45 Friday? Uh, I think this deserves a, a slow clap. You know, one of those decent ruby ones. You cannot go wrong with a, with a ruby like this. Uh, it just goes with anything. Every food, every, every not every food, but you know, it's, it's, it's very versatile, let's put it that way. Uh, and that's that wine this week. Next we're gonna have some different kind of cool wines. You never know what we're tasting in Fortified Friday. Anyways, put your comments down below here. I would love to talk with you guys and also the hashtag. Uh, we can talk about port wines and then Fortified wines in general in Twitter, which is a lot of fun. And, and let's, come on, let's spread the word of Fortified wines. I mean, they're amazing, they're amazing. Anyways, see you next week, cheers.